kids, it's Granny. It's really a quiet day, and I'm really liking it. I'm just going to be today. I get way too wrapped up in world events. You know, back in the day, before the internet, I guess, you know, people would turn on the evening news and they'd kind of catch up with what was going on in the world. But for the most part, during the day, they might have a little conversation about it, but in general, they just did their lives. And it's so easy now to be aware of everything that's going on in the world that it's, I don't know, for me personally, it, I think it's overwhelmed me a little bit lately. So, um, first of all, I want to apologize for my last video being a rant. Um, they got plenty of views, but I don't think my normal viewership really <laughs> appreciated it. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm really going to try and keep the political rants to a minimum. I mean, sometimes if I'm feeling it, I gotta run it, kids. That's just how it is, but I'm going to try and tone it down. Just like I'm trying to tone everything down today. Shh. Shh, Granny. Shh. It's okay, you guys. I've been taking David to catechism classes. It's Monday nights. So tomorrow night we go again. He's actually very excited. Um, really enjoyed the first class. I know he's going to be challenging for them. Um, tomorrow night, they've actually invited me to sit in. Um, I guess I can sit in through the whole thing if I want to. Um, I guess I will. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I've been there, done that, but whatever. I'll, I'll do it again. Um, anyway, David and I had kind of an interesting discussion on the way back, uh, driving him home. He made some reference to God crying um, when something happened. I don't remember what he was referring to biblically. Um, but he said, you know, don't you think that God cried when such and such happened? And, you know, I thought he was sort of anthropomorphizing and... I, you know, what I pictured in my head again was, you know, the guy in the robe on the cloud, that kind of God, like, you know, sniveling into a Kleenex, and I, I couldn't go there, so I said, no. And he said, well, don't you think that God wept when all those people were killed in Las Vegas? And I said, no. And he said, well, don't you think that God feels, like, when we feel sadness, don't you think he feels sadness? Now, to me, that kind of, I don't know, it felt like I was limiting the power and the omnipotence of God somehow. And, so, you know, we debated this in a very friendly way um, the rest of the way home. Didn't come to any grand conclusions. But then I thought about it later. And I thought, well, you know, this God that I believe in, which is a very cosmic God, not I'm not very fundamentalist in my beliefs. And I thought, does this cosmic God actually have anything approaching what we think of as emotion? You know, human, human heart stuff. And... You know, part of me really didn't think so. And, and then I thought, well, maybe, and I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. I thought maybe if this great being, this creator being, is capable of feeling something like emotion, whatever form that takes in that cosmicness, well, then he would have to be able to experience all emotion everywhere all the time. So I thought, 
if he wept for and with the people that were killed in Las Vegas, the people who were destroyed by hurricanes, earthquakes, all of that. Couldn't it be that also, simultaneously, there may have been a little boy in China having a birthday and God was there celebrating. There may have been, you know, some fiesta in Spain and he was there celebrating. So then I went back to, okay, I, I can, I can fathom the idea of a God that feels everything, the whole gamut, right? So then I thought, well, what about anger? I've never liked the idea of an angry God. Um, I don't particularly appreciate the war stories in the Bible or see. I definitely have not gotten my deepest lessons biblically from those stories. I don't know. Does God get mad? In a war, does he take sides? And if so, why? I don't know. It's all definitely worth thinking about. Although, you know, we won't know these answers till whenever we know these answers. Oh, it's Sunday. I'm waxing all religious on you, aren't I? It's really, this isn't religion. We're not talking about religion here. We're talking about theology. I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm in sort of a third adolescence spiritually. It was like, you know, my first adolescence was when, um, I guess when I, you know, finished Sunday school and started worshiping with adults and hearing adults talking about God and taking part in those conversations. And then my second adolescence was when I had that crisis of faith in my late 20s, early 30s. And I don't know, this, this is not a crisis. I can't call this a faith crisis, but I'm, I'm re-examining everything. It's kind of cool. Anyway, guys, I just thought, you know, I'd take Sunday and share that with you and see what you guys think. Because it seems like my viewers, at least my subscribers, seem to just really run the gamut as far as belief systems go. And so it's fun to hear different people's ideas about stuff. Um... I think that's it for me for today. It's a gorgeous day. It's absolutely beautiful. It's sunny. It's like 80 degrees. I can't believe it's October. It doesn't feel like October. <laughs> so I'm going to see what else I can do with the day outside. I don't know. I might put a paddle in the water. I don't know. Anyway, guys, stay happy. Stay healthy. Don't forget Granny loves you. Do some thinking about stuff. Bye.